Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Inner Views. Today, I'm speaking to a wonderful artist, Philip Chari, who makes beautiful beaded products. So, Philip, if you can tell us a little bit more about your business and how you started doing your wonderful art. Okay, my name is Philip Chari. Uh, I'm a Zimbabwean citizen, but I moved here to South Africa because I was pushed with the, with the market. That's where I could find enough, uh, enough traffic in the market, uh, in my art business. So basically I can say that I didn't go to school to learn this, uh, this craft, but because some of my brothers were in the market, they were doing this thing. They learned it from, from someone. So for me, it was something that I, I just learned from my family members. So one of the reasons why, why I moved to Africa was because of traffic. There's more for here who appreciate the type of uh, the art that I do. And most of the raw materials, we get it from, from South Africa. So I have to move to South Africa. Yeah. Okay. And where are you based? Okay. Right now, I'm, I'm mobile. But we have a local market in Brooklyn, in Pretoria. We have a local market where we can sell our products physically. It's a drive-in, it's a drive-through. Then sometimes I, I move around to uh, Ruston Bank. I move around to Irene. I move around to all sorts of marketing like Centurion. Centurion, yeah. Okay, okay. So you're based in Gauteng? Yeah, I'm based in Gauteng. Okay. Okay, lovely. And um, what what sort of products do you make? Tell us more about your products. Okay, uh, mostly I specialize in animals. Okay. Uh, like birds, like uh, elephants, giraffes, uh, even uh, even insects like spiders, uh, even reptiles. I can say that anything. Anything I can specialize in any animal. Okay. Okay. So, do you take commissions? So, if somebody says to you specifically, "I want a sheep" or "I want a cow," then you can make those animals. Yes. I normally I take orders. This is some people say that I want a certain centimeters on a certain sheep. I mm -hmm. want it upright or I want it grazing, uh, like beds, like this one that I'm holding. Oh, someone can say that I need it on a stick. Someone can say that. Uh, someone can say that I need it on a on a on a bow. Someone can say that I need it in a nest. So it depends with customers. But normally, when I'm doing an order, I do it with a customer satisfaction. Okay. Okay, that's wonderful. Uh, show us your bird again. I'd love to yeah. see it close up. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a hoopoe. Yeah, that's a hoopoe. He's beautiful. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> well done. So thank how you. how long have you been doing this, Philip? Uh, I can say that it's almost three years. It was okay. just after I finished uh, my school. Uh, I couldn't find enough money to go to university. So I, I saw this as an opportunity to express or connect with people through art. Mm. so that I can also pursue my goals and also do art. Yeah. Okay, okay. So are you saving up to go to university? Yes. Okay, okay. I need that's to wonderful. also uh, to go to university. Yeah. And, and what are you planning on studying when you get there? Okay, uh, I was planning to study risk and insurance. Okay. But right now, because I'm doing art, I, I, I think I'm, I'm thinking of doing something which, which can complement the type of uh, industry that I'm in right now. So if I could do something with, to do with the geography, with nature, so that mm -hmm. it can link with how I do with my art. Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. It's, it's amazing yeah. to hear that you're using your art to uh, support a, a future plan. To connect with, yeah. Yes. And who, who is your ideal customer? Who mostly buys from you? Uh, right now, I don't have an age range. But mostly, 
their kids, uh, some, they are even uh, six plus. Mm -hmm. it, it, it just depends with people. When you, when you are going to Christmas, it's, it's more like uh, Thanksgiving, it's more like time to appreciate. So I have a lot of people like from 80 to 65 plus. Okay. So it, it just depends with the, uh, with the, with the time. Because if it's, it's uh, Easter, you could find uh, people between 25 to 40. Mm. Mm. More like uh, middle-aged people. But I don't have a specific range of age or a specific range of customers or a targeted customers. Okay, okay. And uh, so is your work very seasonal? Do you have seasons when uh, you sell more? Yeah, mostly when it's festival. Like okay. Christmas festival, because most of the people here in South Africa, they'll be moving to maybe America, maybe to UK. So they'll be taking presents going that side. And even if uh, holidays, mostly holidays, like Easter holidays, mm -hmm. like, um, yeah, I think that festival, the Thanksgiving festival, yeah. Okay. That's when I have uh, a peak, yeah. Okay. And what are the challenges that you face in your business? Uh, the challenge is to connect more people. It's like, I have a lot of customers who are far, who need uh, to see the product before they order. So the challenge is the physical market for where people can come and see the products first so that they can order. And also uh, the on, on, online, online mm -hmm. selling, because most people, they are afraid of scams. So they, they need to see the product before they can purchase. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So are you finding that the South African market is afraid of buying products online because of scams? Right now, to convince people to, or to differentiate yourself from the scammers is, is difficult. Because okay. to say that I'm not a scam, it raises a red flag. Mm. But for you to, to create a certain platform for where people feel safe to come and buy, do you have a, a certain market where people can come and buy and, and feel safe? Mm. That's the only major issue right now. But mm. I would say that some people trust us because we've been in the business for quite a long time. Some people call us, but we need to reach more people through art. Mm. That is our main agenda. Mm -hmm. And um, have your, your physical markets been badly affected by COVID-19? Yes. So, unfortunately, it appears that um, we've lost Philip due to a technical difficulty. Uh, if any of you who are watching are interested in getting in touch with Philip to order some of his wonderful products, you can get hold of him on 074. 052-3441. That's 074-052-3441. Thank you so much for spending time with us and for watching this video. And thank you so much for supporting artists.